Okay, so I mean that's. What? Grab line one. Grab line one. Why? What's on line one? Hell, Gray wants to talk. <laughs> Wait, listen, hold on. So we know this is good. No, this is good. This is for the rest of our YouTube community who is finding us through video. And these cars, when you guys bring them to us, they've been through the ringer. They've had a bunch of parts changed. They've been to multiple shops. Nobody can fix it. You guys want to bring them here? That's great. I prepped this guy. I said, here, I don't have my phone. I said, it's $500 to bring the car in the door. Like, it, you guys gotta agree, if you're coming here, you have to okay 500 up front. That doesn't mean we're gonna spend 500, 150 minimum, it might be, the you know, last one we built out was 300, but we need that okay because these cars have become money losers, not money makers, and it shouldn't be like that. This is a specialty shop. We have specialty prices. We should charge accordingly. So that's to the rest even, of you. Even the 500 is just so I don't have to call you every hour and be like, hey, I gotta get it further. Like, I just want that <laughs> fluff to be like, we're gonna spend some time, that's all. And, that's and we can call it a retainer, how's that? And, a and 500? if I to get a part that I think's gonna do it, yes. be part of the problem, and yes. I gotta eliminate, that's part of it. That's it's right. Just, I'm not I don't need to make a, make a call. And, and what this also does for us, and we understand when you guys get thrown you know, through the ringer on these problem cars that you don't have any money anymore. You've already spent it all, right? You spent two grand and a car still not fixed. We understand that. However, it shouldn't be at our loss to be able to now fix it for you, okay? It just can't be. These cars, there's no reason my brother or any other technician in this field who specializes in diagnostic work should want to do ball joints and, and brake work because it pays them more than this stuff. That's ridiculous and that needs to change. The other thing as we're talking about that situation, that $500 retainer, what this does for my brother is this will weed out the ones that think that diagnostics are easy and it shouldn't be very much because you've already spent all of this money. And what, you, what a lot of people don't understand is when parts get replaced and the car is not fixed, in a lot of circumstances, new problems have been built into that car with those new parts because a lot of parts people get from eBay, from Amazon, internet crap parts and even it at our local stores AutoZone and and um, uh, Advance Auto and Napa and O'Reilly all of those places since COVID it's been really really bad getting bad new parts so that's a factor as well you you got cars that have new parts put in it people want to come and they think well it's going to be real cheap now these guys are going to fix it no it's not going to be cheap that may sound arrogant to some who have just stumbled upon this I'm speaking from a technician and garage owner standpoint as I watch my brother struggle with these cars, not fixing them, he fixes every single one. Watching him struggle to make money off of these cars for his specialty is BS, it shouldn't happen. Caleb and I, what we do, the camera pays us, so I'm not even talking about money in my own pocket here, I'm talking about all my garage owner friends who can do troubleshooting, charge accordingly, for this stuff. It, it, they're not all gonna be $500. You got a misfire and a check engine light on, it's a bad spark plug or coil. Those, that stuff's easy. That's $150 probably average to go through something like that. So keep the right perspective, but this part of the field, this part of the industry needs to change. We as diagnostic specialists should be making diagnostic specialist money. And here's the key, and I've said this a million times, we have to be accurate. If we're 100% on all of our calls, we should be charging accordingly.